Now here's a short little video about ladybirds and why they're really good for your garden um, and how to get them. It involves green fly, so don't be offended. You may gasp and be horrified, but I'll explain. Anyway, in the short term, my name is Georgie Newbury. I'm a flower farmer and florist here in Somerset between Fashionable Bruton and up and coming in Canton. Here is my cutting patch. Uh, well, one of them, one of the four. Uh, it's late June, 22nd of June, 2021. And I have a channel which tells you all about flower farming, growing flowers, floristry. So if you enjoy it, please subscribe down there, the little button. Uh, thank you very much, Arlo Guthrie Gadget Man, who's given me that today. And uh, press the bell button and you'll get a little bing when we put up a new film. Um, so enjoy what I've got to say about the green fly. They are right down there, all over the fever few, in a good way. So enjoy it. I'll see you a bit later. <laughs> Bye. So for those of you who don't know, this is how the ecosystem slightly works. Okay, it's like a mini version. So do you see here lots of green fly? And do you see here the ladybird larvae? They look like monsters. And once you get your eye in, they're everywhere. All over the place but then do you see there as an ant so what's happening is the following thing I'll step back and show you underneath these fever few plants will be an ants nest and the ants up at the top here are farming aphids They're in charge of these aphids. And what they're doing is they're taking the honeydew from the aphids. Now the honeydew is a polite way of saying aphid we. So what they're doing is the aphids are drinking the sap from the fever few and they're weeing it out as honeydew. And the ants are collecting the honeydew and taking it down and feeding the little tiny ants in the, the baby ants to anthropomorphize at all in the ants nest. The ladybird larvae, of which once you get your eye in, you realize there's another one. They're absolutely all over these fever few. The ladybird larvae are eating also the aphids. So the thing is, what I'm really saying is, Where's my finger? There. There's another one. I mean, they're really all over the place. I'm saying, have an ant's nest. If you come across an ant's nest in your garden, don't get rid of it. Because the ants will be farming the aphids. And if you come across aphids in your garden, don't get rid of them. Because the aphids will be feeding not just the ants, but the ladybird larvae, and I have seen in my time hoverflies eating aphids and gangs of goldfinches eating aphids. And if you want to have more wildlife in your garden, then one of the best ways to have it, look, that fella is a horsefly who will bite me if he can, but he also loves an aphid for his lunch. And if we don't have, look, there's another ladybird larvae tucked in there, all different sizes. If we don't, and look, there's a daddy long legs just flown off. So the aphids are feeding a great deal more than just the ants who are farming them. And if we want to be part of the food chain and therefore exist, it is really important that we leave these people alone. So if you find that you have aphids all over your favorite plants in your garden, stand back 
make a film like this and be very proud because you will be doing no end of good to your environment. Thank you very much for your attention. Goodbye. So I hope you enjoyed that. I will admit, I do know that nurturing green fly might be a bit of a niche passion, but I'm hoping to spread the word and get everybody to join in. Because imagine if we all have green fly, then we'll all have ladybirds. And people are always asking me, how do I get more ladybirds into the garden? And the truth is you have to give them something to eat. And one green fly is not enough. They need a lot of them. So I hope you've enjoyed this little session. If you have, please subscribe. There's the button. Bing! And uh, I'll see you again very soon. Thanks very much. I'll see you soon.